I agree with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I I agree with you 100%. It's a um it's a tough situation, but we all get challenged by this every day and uh everybody everybody gets to experience experience it. I uh, let me tell you something. You know, I mean, I I'm not you know, it depends on the mood I'm in and where I'm at and how strong I feel in my body that day. Um, a, a lot of times uh, I come across people that they're really passionate and they're really like there's this force behind them of whatever is the story and they really want to convince me or whatever that is. And sometimes I was, I'm like, okay, I'm uh, probably not ever going to see this person again or I'm going to uh, maybe see him once or twice a year here and there or whatever. And just like what uh, Breda just mentioned, which is it's not my business to convert him. Um, I don't care. And I don't have the energy to... Uh, Speak, speak my truth. Maybe telling him my truth is you talk too much or you talk nonsense. But I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'll just, you know, maybe I hang out here for five, ten minutes or whatever, and then I'm never going to see this person. I don't have to deal with them, so uh, forget it. I, I don't want to get into any kind of, because if I start saying something, now I get into, I get involved in this story with them for a long time. And you just kind of weigh it to see what, you know, which, which side, you know, okay, if I get into a big confrontational thing, that's going to exhaust me and I'm going to put a lot of time and energy and I don't really care about this person or I don't really care to see him again or whatever, so it's not worth my time. And you move on. Uh, some of the people that you're invested in, of course, you, you're in connection, you're in contact with them on a regular basis. So, and if they're doing something that's making you uncomfortable, this is where you really need to speak your truth depending to what level they're, they're listening to you. Sometimes you're d dealing with your mom or dad or grandma, someone close to you, you love them, um, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times you tell them they're doing something you don't like, they just don't listen. Or they're too old to change, uh, too set on their way. And I have that with my own family. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I, I'll eat it. So, uh, because it, it just nonsense. I just can put a lot of time and energy into it, saying no or whatever, and it won't go anywhere. So I just give in to that. Um, there's a lot of different situations uh, for example, I have a girlfriend, uh, she is very much into confrontation and to a point that I don't want to call her, I don't want to see her, I don't want to hang out with her. Uh, she doesn't live here in LA, she lives in another town. But every time I see her and we hang out together, uh, later she sends me a message that I said something or I did something she didn't like and then she wants us to have a clearing together. Uh, anyway, she's on a far exaggerated end of this thing and then we have to have a clearing about whatever it was and that takes a lot of my energy too and I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, so, there is different, this is, there's, in my opinion, there's not one formula that, that you're going to apply this formula to every situation in life because that's not how life is. Life has a lot of varieties and different situations and 
the way I discover it, and this may not even be the right way, okay? Because I don't claim that I know everything. There's a lot of things I don't know, a lot of things that I do encounter in my life that I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say, you know, in this situation because I've never been in that situation before. Uh, so I don't claim that I know everything. But I can only speak uh, of myself. Generally, I'm not very confrontational. Uh, I try to kind of slip around it and as much as I can. But life puts me in a situation at times that I have to speak my truth. And uh, I learned that. I've learned that uh, there are some times if I don't really speak my truth, then I beat myself up or I feel really bad about it later. And uh, you just have to say it. There are some times you learn to do your time and energy management. And like Breda mentioned, so there, there are situations and times that if you really want to speak your truth, you're going to get yourself engaged into this argument with this person that a five, ten minute encounter can turn to a three hour uh, ordeal and it wastes your time. And it's simply, you're not invested enough in that person to put that kind of time because you don't care. You really don't give a damn. So you eat it and you walk away and you save yourself a lot of time. So in general, I would have to say I don't have one formula that fits all, but the idea is to remain truthful to ourselves and speak our truth. Now, um, a lot of people that I've been, I have coached and uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis that I work with, so I got to get intimate with them and to find out about their lives uh, with women, especially women. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, historically, women have, have been suppressed for thousands of years. So it's kind of gone, this suppression has kind of leaked into our DNA. It's kind of leaked into our psyche. And so many women, they don't really speak their truth, especially in the encountering their dad. And their dad's been kind of, or the parents, and I'm not just saying with women, of course, this is for all of us, but uh, I've, my experience has been it's with uh, girls, women, mostly more than men, uh, because, you know, you got this authority figure is kind of banging in your head, and you're six, seven, eight, nine years old, you come to your mommy or daddy and you're really expressing something, you're really excited about something and then daddy is kind of like going like this, like shut up or sit down and you're not to express your opinion. You're a kid. So you're a kid, you're stupid and you're not supposed to um, express your thoughts and they suppress you. And of course, we're looking at that as an authority figure. He's big, strong, he's the man, he's not sensitive, you know, in comparison to women, women are more sensitive. 